everybody. Welcome back to Kill Outdoors. It's uh, October 15th. Um, it's 82 degrees, as you can see. Dripping sweat. Uh, normally, I would just get in one of my hang on stands for an evening hunt that's this hot, or I wouldn't hunt at all. But uh, in the middle of the day, I came and checked this area that I haven't hunted yet this year. And I mean, it's tore up with scrapes and actually had a camera that's been sitting here for over a month and I got some really nice pictures on um, a bunch of does in a daylight um, one pretty decent eight pointer tall rack uh, in the uh, in the morning time at like 715 right after shooting light um, and I got a couple smaller bucks um, small eights sixes uh, one of them was broken off but uh came in here this evening it was a good sign I uh, passed up a lot of deer already this year a lot of small bucks um, a couple does but now I'm ready to kill I'm ready to uh, I'm gonna try to kill at least two two does this weekend maybe three within the next week and get them all to the process and get all that meat hunting out the way um, and so I can hunt some horns uh, for the pre rut can ready to come in we got a major cold front coming in um, it's going to start on Sunday. Monday morning is supposed to be like 44 degrees. It's going to be perfect cruising weather. Um, unfortunately, I'll be at work all week. But I uh, might be able to get out of the evening. But um, then after that, it's vacation time. So um, y'all stay with me. I'm going to show y'all my setup. I'm on this big uh, eight-corner flat. You got the interstate running back there. It help hide my noise when I come in here with the climber. Got a big scrape right there. I don't know if y'all can see that whole thing is a scrape that's been worked over and worked over. Got a few smaller scrapes back behind me and uh, I actually had my trail camera on that tree right there and they were just coming through here in the evening and the mornings. Um, usually about four or five does come through at a time. Um, I'm not really hunting for this buck because of how hot it is. I don't think he's going to get up and move before dark but you never know because they're only bedding about 100 yards away so First come, first serve, unless it's a scrub. Y'all stay tuned. I'll put the camera back on after I cool down and we get some action. Real nice buck. No shot. No shot. All right, folks, so I ended up seeing a few more deer after that buck uh, had a smaller seven-pointer come in, basically on the same path as that deer. 
but he kind of stopped and fed back the other way. I couldn't really get any footage of him in the hollers. And then right before dark, I had two does come in. Um, they kind of kept the distance off a little bit. But uh, that was my first encounter with a shooter um, this year. Um, it was hot. And that just goes to show, don't let anybody tell you that these, these big bucks won't move when it's hot. You just got to get real close to where they're laying at. I mean, it's a it's a gamble, you know. You can, it can go real well or real bad. So but luckily, he didn't know I was there. And um, he fed on off. Hopefully, I get a crack at him before the end of bow season. If not, hopefully, I get a shot at him doing black powder. But uh, but yeah, hope y'all enjoyed this video, and I'll catch y'all next time. Appreciate you.